want to talk about depressing things, the cost of eggs has surpassed the price of beef. Eggs are more expensive than beef right now. Uh, We'll get into that more next week, but that's an amazing statistic. Makes us feel like we're becoming a third world country. Our trains don't run. We've got poison seeping out everywhere. We can't afford food. People are depressed. The average life expectancy is decreasing because of deaths of despair. We don't have a functioning border. Whatever we are doing right now, we we always want to project our power overseas and say we're going to solve all the world's problems and we need to go spread uh, democracy around the world or whatever. How about we spread a flourishing society here at home? We are becoming like a third world country. What is up, everyone? My name is Carlos, a.k.a. C. Welcome to the C-Talks channel. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, let's get into it. That was a Daily Wire clip that I played at the beginning, and I'm going to be reacting to that clip. First of all, shout out to Michael J. Knowles. That was him in the clip talking. And he's talking about just how the quality of life in the U.S. is decreasing and... I wholeheartedly agree. The quality of life in the U.S. sucks right now. So the quality of life in America is decreasing. Gen Z, millennials, we're screwed. Boomers, Gen Xers have tons of assets and they have a ton of money. So they're pretty much set. One guy that I follow a lot on YouTube is Scott Galloway. Shout out to Scott. I'm a big fan. And he talks about the fact that who owns properties and assets? Old people who works for wages and rents, young people. And that says a lot about the quality of life in America. And also, that's one of the reasons why young people are very depressed in the U.S., which I'm going to get into in a little while. But yeah, the the game just seems incredibly rigged. If you're a young person in America, the average 30-year-old is not doing as good as their parent was in the U.S. at the same age. So there's something that's happening which has everything flipped upside down and it's not good to live in a country where the quality of life keeps decreasing because eventually that prosperous first world country becomes a poor third world country right things are just sliding in a bad direction right now and something needs to be done and a lot of people are talking about this a lot of young people if you hop on i'm talking about it i'm a 36 year old millennial hop on tiktok youtube instagram probably Twitter too or X. People are talking about just how terrible the quality of life is for us young folks and just for the US nation in general. It's terrible. I always talk about my perspective. I'm a first generation immigrant. I wasn't born in the US. I'm Dominican. I was born in the Dominican Republic. I went to the US when I was almost four, grew up there, went back to the Dominican Republic for some time for high school, came back to the US, did college in the US. But even then, I also left the country a lot and spent summers in the Dominican Republic and just got exposed to just two different qualities of life. Even from the beginning, I saw that the quality of life of my family in the Dominican Republic was better than the quality of life of my family in the U.S. People just lived better. After a while, I really, after like summer vacations and being there for a while, I there was a part of me that didn't honestly want to go back to the U.S. I dreaded the plane ride back because I knew that I was going to have a different, lower quality of life in the U.S. Based off of the things that I valued, being able to relax, having way more free time, having much more autonomy with my life and with my time. People are less in a hurry. People are nicer, friendlier, not as stressed out. These are things that you see in the U.S. People are just at each other's throats and they're always angry and upset and depressed and not happy. Not happy because Americans just work themselves to death. And also for all my other first generation immigrants, please feel free to chime in and talk about what your experiences are in the comments. Let's talk about U.S. life expectancy, which has to do with the quality of life. Michael J. Knowles talked about it in the video. The quality of life in the U.S. is going down, and so is life expectancy. Life expectancy took a dip during the pandemic, and I think it's still going down. So what do people have to look forward to in the U.S.? Go to college, graduate, what, 22 to 25, work 40 years at jobs that you hate and that are crappy and that you're going to have to work like crazy at the job to go where you want in life or barely get what you want in life and then bam you're 65 congratulations you work till you're 65 and then you get to enjoy 10 years or 12 years until you croak no hell no 
I'm not doing that. A lot of us young people are saying no to this and we're just, we're just not participating and just not going to do that because no, I'm not doing that. Michael J. Knowles says the US is becoming like a third world country. I agree. And I've seen other videos on this particular perspective that the US is becoming like a third world country. The rich are getting richer. The poor are getting poor. The middle class is almost non-existent. Crime is going up. People are incredibly polarized and always at each other's throats. There's a lot of conflict happening uh, all the time it's the u.s is a very combative nation who really is getting along in the u.s it's not that many people people are incredibly unhappy let's talk about depression michael says people are depressed i did some research on this and as of 2023 depression rates reached a new high in the u.s who are the groups who were most depressed in the u.s young adults and women to nobody's surprise Let's talk about food. Michael talked about food. The two most costly items in the average budget are food and housing. If food and housing compose most of your budget, you're not going to have a lot of money for other things. And guess what? That decreases your quality of life. I think the U.S. needs to take a long, hard look at itself in the mirror. And Michael talks about this, too. We need to fix ourselves internally before we go out into the world and try to fix the rest of the world try to instill democracy in other countries we're like a fat and out of shape and badly dressed person trying to tell other people how they should eat how they should exercise and how they should dress it's very hypocritical right if our current society is falling apart and not doing so well we should fix ourselves first before we go fix other countries no we're just trying to fix other countries without fixing ourselves. And it shows. We're becoming like a third world country. I agree. Michael says it as well. Every single empire in history has fallen. I think we're slowly witnessing the decline of the U.S. And things are slowly getting worse and worse. And they're going to continue getting worse until people take action. Or if nothing gets done, and if this continues, this might mark the end of the U.S. as a superpower. One factor that I think that contributes to a very low quality of life in the U.S. is U.S. depth culture. People are so comfortable with depth in the U.S. People acquire depth when they go to college. People acquire depth when they purchase a car. People acquire depth when they purchase a home because you really can't afford these things cash. I argue that you'd probably have to live with your parents and work a middle class job probably 10 years before you can buy a a house cash that's a long time depending on when you start if you start 22 23 you're set but how many people really get that head start in life it's not that many depth is one of the reasons why americans are incredibly unhappy and personal depth credit card debt went up to i think its highest level last year and i think this year as well so people are just because of inflation and how expensive things are people are taking out loads of debt they have a ton of debt. So that's just making the U.S. a not so happy place and decreasing everybody's quality of life. So my final thought is this. No nation is perfect, right? Every nation has its pros and cons. But statistically speaking, and I think just overall, I think America was did pretty well for a while. We're still a fairly new nation. We're not super old. What, 1776? It's 2024. What's that, about 250 years? Maybe I got that wrong. Somebody chime in. Let me know. We're still fairly new, but in terms of the way things are running and the way things are right now, we're not doing very good and we need to make some changes and fast because I always like to say this, if things keep going the way they're going, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better and things are already bad. So U.S. quality of life sucks. People don't like being in the U.S. People are leaving the U.S., People are traveling, relocating. Migration is something that's also important to talk about, right? People leave their country historically when they're not happy with the way things are run in their country. Go on TikTok and YouTube and you're going to see tons of people leaving America and going to other countries. Passport bros, forget about just dating. They're going to other countries for a better quality of life. Migration is happening. All right, if you liked this video you also like this other video up on the screen i will be back with more videos soon i will see you guys soon